Welcome back to another video. My name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies like me. And in this video, I'm going to share something really cool that was just released. And it's completely free, so it's a new add-on plugin if you have a website and you're using Beaver Builder as the page builder. And it's right here. It's Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder Lite. Now, if you followed my channel for any amount of time, you know I've talked about the Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder plugin. It's a fantastic plugin. And what they did is they took some of the best modules out of it and they packaged it up in this plugin that they're giving away for free. Now, it does say light, and I got to tell you, I don't know why they call it light because it's pretty darn heavy in what it offers. So in this video, I'm going to show you it on my WordPress website. I'm going to show you everything that it includes and how to get it. Now, obviously, it's hosted right here on WordPress.org. Or if you're in your website, you can just go to the back end, click on plugins, add new, and then just do your search right here for it and install it. Now, I've already installed this plugin on this website. And what it does is it's going to add a new settings panel right here option called uh, right here it says UABB you can go ahead and click on that to pull up its settings panel now what usually happens when you get a light version of anything a plugin or a software or whatever it's going to be the plugin but they take out a bunch of the features and in the plugin they're going to essentially give you some nice gentle nudges saying if you like this you're going to love that and there's nothing actually wrong with that as long as it's not done in an intro intrusive way or an annoying way and definitely the way they've delivered this it's very unintrusive there's not lots of nags that say pay 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 get the full version so let's just look through the settings here and then let's look at what is included so you have the general settings right here well first the welcome screen and basically they're letting you know that this is the light version of ultimate add-ons we have some general settings here, and this is just to enable some of the features. I'm going to show you them really quick. Here are the modules that it comes with. I'm going to show you each one in this video, and here's a little nudge of some of the modules that are in the full version of the plugin that you can get, and here are links to those if you want to take a look at it. So here's a nice little nudge. Next is this link right here to the template cloud. So whenever you hover over any of these templates, it gives you that upgrade button, and this is to get you to get the full version of the plugin. Now, the free version has modules. It doesn't come with any templates or row templates or anything that you might have seen in any of my past videos. It's just going to come with a bunch of new modules, but they're so useful and you're going to love them. So this is just showing you some of the templates that are available for the full version in some of these pre-designed sections as well. This is just a more of a technical menu item. And then here is giving you more information on the premium version. Now, when I've seen other plugins make a light version, they have nags everywhere and Ultimate add-ons, they're not doing that. They're just giving you a couple little menu items here to remind you that there's a full version. And that's pretty much it. So you really got to hand it to them for doing it that way. Now, once you've enabled the plugin, if you go to Pages, and let's go ahead and click on the home page here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Launch Page Builder. There's going to be this new menu item right here that says UABB Modules. So I just have the basic free version of Beaver Builder installed on this website right now. And it just comes with these basic modules and the advanced module, there really isn't any, it's just this one. So if you're using the free version of Beaver Builder, there's over 200,000 websites that it's active on. So there's 200,000 people, more than 200,000 websites using it. This will be very handy. So it's right 
right here, UABB modules. And when you scroll down, these are all the modules that it's going to add to your site. And it also adds a couple other little things. One of the things that I like that it adds is this live preview button. So when you click on this, everything disappears and you get a live preview of your page. I really like that. This is a feature that Beaver Builder really should have natively built into it, but they haven't done it. Maybe they're holding it off until version two of Beaver Builder is released. So I'm gonna show you each of these. Now, I could drag and drop each one in and show you some of the settings, but I think it's better to just jump over to the Ultimate Add-ons website and show you how they have configured each of these modules. So let's do that now. First is this ribbon module, and you can make these ribbons with text like this right here, and here's another example and another example. Gotta be honest, I'm not really a fan of the ribbon, but that's okay because there's lots of other modules here. This one is really cool. It's a row separator. So you see this is a row, this is a row, and you've got this image as a separator right there in the middle. Here's another example of that, and here's another example of that. In fact, I have a video on this module, when, but of course this was when it was only available in the paid version of Ultimate Add-ons, and now it's in the free version. So you can go ahead and check out the video I have on that. This is the simple separator, and this is actually very useful. You see this faint line here, and this line, and that, and that. This is a separator element to separate a headline and maybe a paragraph of text, as you see it displayed here. And then there's different types. There's this solid, dashed, and dotted. And this is actually very useful. I think it will add just that little bit to your website that will make it look and flow a bit nicer. Right here's the info table. And so you can make elements like this right here. And here's some other versions of that. So this would be probably really nice if you have any products or services that you'd like to display like this. You see how I'm getting a nice subtle hover effect. That's pretty nice as well. And you could do this. So that is your info table. Here's the info list, and you can make these lists of items. This is really nice if you're using Beaver Builder to have a website for maybe a restaurant. Here's a great way of displaying some menu items that you have. And you can also do this right here. I like this to use as kind of like a step. So for instance, if you are a service and you want to display the steps someone needs to take to engage you in your service, usually it's like to call up, get a quote, schedule an appointment. You can use this to display those that uh, progression. Uh, here's another example, yet another example. And right here, this is really nice when you have the image and then a list of some of your main services. Services. So this right here was your info list. Here's the slide box. And so when you hover over the element, some info slides down and you have that icon there. Here's another variation of it, but this one you actually have to click to show what's behind. And here are some more examples of that. Here's an example here. And that's it for the examples of the slide box. I don't really use the slide box that much. Flipbox is actually very popular. You see this on a lot of websites. So when I hover over one of these elements, you see how it flips, shows more info, and displays a button. All that is optional. And here's just a different uh, kind of flip. And here's another example. So this is actually really cool. I, I like this. So you could have a, maybe a menu. Someone hovers over it and it flips or a service or just something like that. And uh, all these modules have lots of different settings so you can really customize it for yourself. This is an image icon module so, so you will have more access to all these icons that are gonna be built in or an image. So here's some social icons. And what's nice about the icons is you can choose a normal color and you can also specify a hover co color. So you can see how I hover and it turns blue like that, red and the other blue. And here's another example. What's nice is you can have that circle effect on your image without having to edit your image into a circle. I like that as well. Here's some of those icons that you'll have access to. And I actually use a lot of these on my websites. I really love access to all the icons that they include. 
And so this right here was the image icon module. And this will be the last module, and it's a button module. Now, buttons are important to any website, and I'm so glad that they're including this in there. And they give you some fantastic options with these buttons right here. So this is kind of like a three-dimensional. You see when you hover over it, it kind of pushes the button down like that. Here's another one, and you can you can control everything with the button. So you can see when I move the mouse cursor over that nice transition, you'll have full control over that. You can see this button has some rounded corners there, and it has a slight change, but we also have an icon there. And here's the full boat uh, demonstration of all the different options that you can do with your buttons. It's uh, pretty pretty awesome that they're including this. I think really Beaver Builder should include a button module, but this button module is more powerful than the default paid version of Beaver Builder's button module. Tongue twister, I know. So this is what it includes. Now, if you're on this website here and you click on modules, you can see all the modules that the paid version has. And you can also demo some of the designed sections that use all these modules. And there's also a bunch of different page templates. And if you look at any of my prior videos, you'll see a whole bunch of information on all of this too. Now, if you do want to buy the paid version of Ultimate Add-ons or even the paid version of Beaver Builder, I have a special promotion where I put together this amazing course on how to build websites with Beaver Builder, this course sells for $97, but I give it to you for free when with this special promotion when you purchase Ultimate Add-ons through my website or Beaver Builder through my website. Now, when you click on the link in the pinned comment section below, it will take you to all the information on this special promotion for you. And I will also, if there's any updates to this video, I'll also include that in the pinned comment section down below. Hey, before you go, I have something for you. And before I get into that, I wanted to ask you to do something for me. If you could give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button right beneath me. If you have a question on this video, I'd be happy to answer it. You can also leave a comment or a question down below this video. Hey, I put together a course just for you and I'm going to give it to you for free. All you have to do is click on the button right here on the right. It's called the three steps to WordPress success. It's an awesome course. You're going to love it. I would love for you to join in and enroll as a student in this course. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I do it just for you.